Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and let's go take a look at some storage options for GCP, in specific um, cloud storage. So what we'll do is scroll on down here. So we got our compute, and we have our storage, and here is cloud storage. Okay. And you will notice, oh, <laughs> our screen's a bit messed up here. Just give it a, whoops, give it a hard refresh here to get that uh, weird navigation out of the way. But uh, you can see that because we set up our app engine, we already have some storage here. Uh, but let's go ahead and create ourselves a new bucket. And we'll just say, uh, my new bucket. Okay, these are globally unique names. So that it's just like domain names. So you might have to put in some random uh, numbers there. Click continue. Now we have an option of multi-region, dual region, or uh, just region with the lowest latency with a single region. Um, I'm just gonna stick with multi-region. For uh, this, I'm gonna see if I can choose Canada. Actually, I only have three options, US, European Union, or Asia. If I choose different ones, what are my options? Do I get North America? There we go. So actually, I want Toronto, because that's the closest place that I am here. Uh, uh, clearly, multi-region would give you the highest availability, but if you want the lowest latency and you just want a single region more options, you probably might just want to choose region there, okay? Go ahead and hit continue. I like on the right-hand side, it's estimating our cost here. Now we have our different storage options. This will absolutely show up on the exam, so you need to know the difference. So standard best for short-term storage and frequently accessed data, near line best for backup and data access less than a month, cold line best for disaster recovery and data access less than once a quarter, archive best for long-term digital pr uh, preservation of data access less than once a year. So we're gonna stick with standard. Uh, and then here it says prevent public access. One of the most, um, uh, a common vulnerabilities for cloud service providers is through uh, cloud storage when they're uh, made public, especially on AWS. I'm sure it's no different for GCP. So it's probably good to have uh, public access prevention turned on on the bucket. And then you have access controls under it. We have uniform and fine grade. Uh, we're not sharing this with anybody else, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll go ahead and hit continue. You'll notice that uh, we can set encryption to be the Google managed encryption key or a customer managed encryption key. We'll just stick with Google's uh, managed key there because that's very easy. You can set up a retention policy. If we check boxes, we get more information. So we could say how long we want to retain uh, stuff for. I'm gonna leave that off for now. Apply labels as per usual. We'll go ahead and create our bucket. And so now that we have our bucket, let's go ahead and I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it Star Trek, okay? And what I'll do is I'll just go grab some images to upload, just a couple images, uh, and I'll be back here in a second, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and upload some files. So I'm gonna click into the Star Trek folder. We're gonna hit Upload Files. I'm gonna go into my Star Trek folder, and I have a couple of graphics from my uh, one of my previous courses here. We'll hit Upload, and you'll see the files upload, and there they are. If you wanna go ahead and download them, there's a Download button on the right-hand side. Uh, we have some other options uh, here. Nothing super important. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete these files, okay? And give that a moment. Not that this would cost us anything to keep these two uh, teeny tiny files around, but it's probably a good habit to uh, learn how to delete stuff uh, at this level here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and delete my new bucket and we will type in delete to permit and delete it. Okay, and there you go, that is Google Cloud Storage.